Today I'll be talking about the Second Amendment by Sam Phillips and Josh Burnett. First, the Second Amendment is the right to bear arms. Is it good or bad? The Second Amendment. The Second Amendment to the United States Constitution is a part of the United States Bill of Rights that protects the right of people to keep in their own. There is a picture of the Constitution. The Constitution says, there are several versions of the text of the Second Amendment, each with slight capitalization and punctuation differences. Found in the official documents surrounding the death of the Bill of Rights, one version was passed by Congress, while another was found in the county, distributed to the states, and then ratified by the And it was passed by Congress. The regulated military being necessary to the security of the free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. As ratified by the states and authentic by Thomas Jefferson, Secretary of State. The original handwritten copy of the Bill of Rights approved by the House and Senate was prepared by, C by scribe William Lambert and resigned to the National Archives. And there's a picture of the Second Amendment. Second Amendment, good or bad? Here's the good. A good side of the Second Amendment is self defense within the home, as well as any other lawful offense. The bad. Bad side to this is there can be death and confusion of the law, such as one to use the gun and one to have the compassion of the gun. And now here's a video. Well, and also thank you for your organization and what they did. Uh, my, my question really is, are you guys, with, with the, the fabulous success you had with this legislation, are you guys going to do any work with... Um, being able to repeal, because as you know, I'm, I'm in Jersey, which is a, a tough state as it is. Mm -hmm. And when I was younger, I, I made some, some big mistakes, and I'm considered a felon. Now, for years, I, I've lived a productive life, and I, you know, I, I follow the rules now. I, I changed my life around, and I know there's a lot of people out there that want that second chance as well, to be able to prove that they, too, should be allowed to, to own a gun, um, own a firearm to protect their family as well. I'm married now. And I was wondering if you guys are going in any direction to help that along as well. Well, I very much agree with you. I think somebody in your situation should not be deprived of the right to keep and bear arms and to be able to protect himself and his family. That's not on the table at the moment, but that's something that we defend at every possible opportunity. I think it's absolutely uh, wrong to say that somebody who uh, did something wrong earlier in his life and has in your case, it's probably been 10, 20, 30 years, uh, a, a choir boy, and uh, we're not going to let him have a gun. I think that's, uh, well, that's what the anti-Second Amendment folks want, but that's not what we want. Our next call for... Hi, I'm Josh Burnett, and I'm currently discussing the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms, on how it's good and bad. I currently have an expert on this uh, subject sitting with me to share his opinion. Um, Hi, Rick. We'll start with the good side to the right to bear arms. Well, I think that you have to start then with the fundamental part of what the amendment is, which is the, not just the right to bear arms, but also the right to protect your family, your property, and um, not to mention, in, in, in rare cases, the right to feed your family by using the guns to hunt, etc. So I think you really have to go way back to the reason why the amendment was put into place originally, which was um, for those things, to, to, to protect your family and your property. Okay, so you obviously believe in this amendment? Wholeheartedly. Okay. Uh, let's, there's always two sides to each story, so let's go to the bad side of this amendment. Well, I think the bad side, if, if I have to come up with one, would be simply that it allows the bad element, bad people, uh, the ability to easily purchase guns that can then be used in improper fashion, such as robberies, uh, murders, things like that. So, um, but I think you have to keep in mind that it's it's the people that use the guns, not the guns themselves, that kill people. Um, but if there is a bad, that would be the bad. It is a, um, a fairly easy process to, to, to purchase a weapon. All right. Uh Thank you, I appreciate the time you spent with